Hello, and today we're going to be looking at working out the area of an intersection of two circles. So right in front of us here we have two circles, a pink circle with a radius of 3 and a green circle with a radius of 4 and their centers are 5 units apart, like so. So what I'm going to work out today is the area of this little shaded bit here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to have to draw a diagram or at least understand what we're looking at. So as you can see in this circle I have this red triangle kind of in the middle here. I want to pay some close attention to this red triangle because hey look we know all of the side lengths. We can use the radius of the pink circle, the radius of the green circle, and this five unit distance to form a triangle here. Now using this triangle, we can start to get a picture of how we're going to work out the area of this intersection. So, a couple of things off the bat. We're going to be using the cosine rule and we're going to be using previous knowledge in the uh, circle geometry videos. So if you haven't seen those, go check them out. And with that, let's get started. So I'm now going to get rid of this diagram here and uh, going to put it up in the corner of the screen so that you can see it at all times if you want to have a little bit of a reference. So, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to make a general triangle with our 3, 4 and 5 unit here. So what we're going to use first is to work out what this angle is here. And I'm going to call this theta divided by 2 of theta 1, theta 2 divided by 2, y, well looking at the diagram in the corner you can see that really we want, what we've got is half of what we need so to work out the little segment, segment of uh, part of the intersection. And we're going to have to use both of these angles here, but again they're only half. So, how are we going to work this out? going to have to double it and then plug it into the equation. But first we actually have to work out what these angles are. Now conveniently this is a 345 triangle but let's assume that this is not a 345 triangle and apply it to a more generally. So let's use the cosine rule. So cosine of a which is going to be theta is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared all divided by 2bc and then we'll take the inverse cosine to work out what a is so I'm going to substitute all these variables in so cosine of theta 1 over 2 is going to equal b squared, let's make 3b squared plus 5 squared minus 4 squared over 2 lots of b3 and c5 and then from there we can work out what all these are to now uh, so now we can just do some little bit of solving. So cosine theta 1 over 2 is equal to 3 squared is 9 plus 5 squared which is 25. So 9 plus 25 that's 34 minus 16 over 2 lots of 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. And that is also equal to 18 over 
30. Which is the same as 6 over 10. Which is the same as 3 over 5. Again, because this is a right angle triangle, this makes sense. Cosine of this angle here is dealing with the adjacent and the hypotenuse 3 and 5. Yes, that does seem true. So now I need the inverse of this. So kind of inverse of 3 over 5. And we're going to double that and we'll get theta. The last thing that I want to do is get theta by itself. So we get two lots of this cos inverse 3 over 5. And I'm going to work in radians here. So this is 1.85 radians. So that's our theta 1. So I'm going to Put this to the side. Now I'm going to. So off screen, I've uh, did the exact same process and found that theta two is equal to 1.29 radians. So you didn't have to sit through me doing going through uh, the cosine rule again. Now that we have these two angles, we can actually work out the segments of each using the uh, equation. So area going to equal to area 1 plus area 2. So what I mean by that is these two circles, where the two circles overlap, I'm going to split them right in the middle here. I'm going to work out the bit in the center here depending on what this is here. So here is a 1 and this is a 2. So if I can work out what that those regions are, I can work out the area of the full intersection. So let's calculate the first area. So the first area is half the radius. So the radius in this case is going to be 3 squared, lots of theta 1 in radians, minus the sine of theta 1. And area 1 equals, well, half of 9 is 4.5. 4.5 lots of theta 1 in radians minus sine theta 1 and then we can use the calculator to work out the rest so area 1 we get area 1 equals 1.48 and this is going to be a little bit of uh, rounding error because we've rounded to two decimal places but we'll see how we go from there so area 1 equals 1.48. So off screen I have calculated the second area using the exact same method but this can but again changing and using theta 2 this time and I got area 2 is equal to 10.14. So now I can add, I can add area 1 to area 2 to get the actual area of the intersection and that equals 11.62. And depending on what units we have, so centimeters, millimeters, kilometers, inches, whatever, that would be squared because again, we're dealing with area. So that's all the time that I have for today for circle geometry part 4. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and contact me on social media and I will see you in the next video.